Hi there everyone, I'm Dr. Devet from the Country Animal Clinic and today I thought I'd just chat to you a little bit about parvovirus or cat flu. So those are, it's a disease that we see quite commonly in practice and there's a lot of misconceptions about it and what we can do about it. So firstly, um, to start off, parvovirus or cat flu or in Afrikaans cat grip, it's all the same sickness and it's caused by a virus called the parvovirus that affects dogs. One of the first misconceptions is, is that this is a disease of cats because it's called cat flu, but it's actually not at all associated with cats anymore. Um, decades ago it was, but at the moment this is now a dog-only virus. So we often get people ask the question, how did my dog get this? Are they never in contact with cats? Um, but it's got nothing to do with cats. So <laughs> we prefer to use the term parvovirus instead of cat flu. This virus is incredibly contagious, so um, if your dog comes into contact with another positive dog or any stool or vomit from another positive dog, they could easily catch the virus. It's also a really nasty virus in the sense that it can stay in the environment for a long time, so up to nine months, um, and it can be carried on surfaces. So if you went for a walk and you got some of the virus on your shoes, you can bring that home to your pet as well. So it's really, really a horrible virus in, in that sense, and one needs to be quite cautious of it. Um, the symptoms that we see is normally vomiting to begin with, and then they normally develop diarrhea, and it is a horrible, bloody diarrhea. Often these dogs are in quite a lot of abdominal pain as well. It's a very, very nasty disease to treat. We often have to hospitalize these patients and we look at anything between five, um, five days and two weeks that they have to be in hospital and they get very intensive treatment while they're in hospital. They're on drip and multiple medications and we're trying to prevent dehydration and boost their immune systems because the virus suppresses their immune system as well. It's, it's very time intensive and very complicated because it is so contagious and we need to isolate those patients from, from other patients and it becomes a very difficult disease to treat and the prognosis is not good either. So even with days and days or weeks in hospital and that intensive treatment, we don't always pull these dogs through particularly if they're very young and some breeds are more susceptible as well. So it is not a nice disease to see, to treat and as an owner it's not nice to see your, your dogs struggle with that and it can be very expensive to treat as you can imagine. So this brings me to my favorite part about parvovirus. The only part that I like about this sickness is how we prevent it. And this sickness can be almost 100% prevented by vaccination. And this is so exciting for me because I love preventing diseases. So we encourage vaccination and the parvovirus is included in every time a dog gets a vaccination. So it's critical when you get a puppy to make sure that they receive at least three vaccinations. Um, ideally, the first one should be done at the breeder and then they wait two weeks before you collect the puppy so they have some measure of, of protection. But when you get a new puppy, make sure they have had vaccinations and make sure they get at least three. Sometimes we even do four depending on the puppy's age. So if, you, if you're not sure, you're welcome to bring in your new puppy's vaccination book for us to check and tell you how many they still need. So that's critical. The other thing that's very important to realize is that puppies are susceptible because they haven't always had all of their vaccinations. So keep those puppies safe. Don't let them go to places where there are many other dogs. Um, if you do want to socialize them, try a safer place like a puppy school where we know all the dogs are healthy and vaccinated or friends and relatives um, where, where you know those dogs are healthy and vaccinated. And then um, make sure that your animals have updates on their vaccinations as well. So we advise yearly checkups that we can just assess your pets, check for any health problems, and then assess their vaccination status and decide whether or not they need to be vaccinated again. So that's 
absolutely important to do and make sure that your, your dog is vaccinated. If you are one of the unlucky families that does have a dog that gets this virus, be very cautious about getting a new dog um, for up to a year afterwards because this virus can survive in your home and in your garden and there's nothing more heartbreaking than getting another dog after you've lost yours and then they get this virus again. So as hard as it would be, you need to wait at least a year um, before you can get a new dog or make sure they've received all of their vaccinations before you bring them home into your home to be safe. So in short, parvovirus is a disease that affects dogs, not cats, despite the name, and it's very difficult to treat and very expensive to treat, but we can prevent it, and that is what is exciting. So if you've got a new puppy, please go check um, how many vaccines they have had and how many they still need. And if you've got an older dog, please go check as well and see when last they had a vaccination and pop them in, um, make an appointment and bring them in that we can check them and update their vaccinations. Thank you so much.